VLAN configuration on Ubiquity Networks equipment. Bridge, point to point link, access point side. All right, so when you're on the bridge side, go to the network tab. Uh, the rest of the tabs don't matter for this. Expand out management network settings, expand out uh, VLAN network, and expand out bridge network. So once you have these expanded, first in the VLAN section, you're going to want to add in the new VLAN to both the WLAN and LAN interfaces for your new VLANs. Um, enter your VLANs that you wish to support in these boxes uh, and define them on the interface you wish to have supporting VLANs. As you can see, this is really straightforward. Now the bridge settings. So here you must create a bridge to connect the two separate layer 2 VLANs across the physical layer 1 interfaces to enable forwarding of uh, the traffic to the other interfaces. After defining the VLANs, you should see interfaces with a sub number. This uh, sub number is the 802.1Q tag. Connect each of them together with a bridge interface. Once you've finished, you can set the management network uh, management interface to your bridge that's for your management plane VLAN so you can have your out of band management. Spanning tree protocol should be enabled for these interfaces. Uh, if they're connected to a uh, another switch and you're worried about somebody incorrectly inserting a cable causing a switching loop and connectivity loss. Bridge station side. So on the station side of this link, uh, the process is exactly the same, but with the WLAN interface facing towards the access point side of the bridge. Um, I don't really need to say much more. You can see from the configuration, it's pretty self-explanatory. VLAN configuration on the site switch, bridge station side. So in this example of the simulated site with an atonic switch, uh, define your VLANs, assign them to the ports where they're needed to be on a ports so untagged with the untagged option, the U. This tags the VLANs on the switch port instead of at the end user device. Um, ensure your access points, bridges, point to point links are connected with the trunk ports uh, for the letter T. Uh, so that you can follow the rest of these instructions. Point to multi-point access point facing towards client's customer premise equipment. So as you can see here, I have two bridges configured for two VLAN interfaces. VLAN 7 uh, bridge is only bridged to the VLAN 7 sub-interface of the LAN interface. This is the management plane interface. And VLAN 25 is bridged from the VLAN 25 sub-interface off the LAN interface to the WLAN 0 untagged interface. The management interface is also changed to VLAN 7. This puts all the subscriber traffic in untagged mode, uh, allowing you to easily separate out your PPOE access uh, or customer access planes from your management planes and putting your management out of band on a dedicated plane as per Cisco certified security professional guidelines. I hope that you guys liked this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to push like and if you really liked it, make sure to push subscribe.